Hi, my name is Chloe and this video is going to be for Educas A-Level Psychology. I'm going to be discussing Bowlby's 44 Thieves, which is the classic study for the psychodynamic approach. I'll be going through the methodology, procedures, findings and conclusions of the study. So this was a series of case studies and the participants who were all collected through opportunity sampling consist of 44 children who attended a child's guidance clinic in London, which is where Bowlby worked at the time, who were all classified as thieves due to stealing being considered one of their symptoms. Only a few of them had been charged in court, as most of them were too young to be charged. There were 31 boys and 13 girls in total, all aged between 5 and 17 years old, and were mainly of average intelligence. Each participant was graded on the seriousness of their stealing as grade 4 to 1, grade 4 being that they had been stealing for a long time, some more than three years in fact, whereas grade 1 was only having stolen once. Um, a control group was also used, which consisted of 44 children who attended the same child guidance clinic, who were also emotionally disturbed, but who had no history of stealing. They were all similar in age, sex and IQ. The mothers of both groups were also involved in the study. They were in, interviewed to access the histories of all of the children. The initial examination consisted of each child receiving mental tests when they arrived at the clinic by a psychologist in order to test their intelligence using the Burnett scale. The children's emotional attitudes were also taken note of. At the same time as this, a social worker interviewed the mothers of each child who made a record of the preliminary details of the child's psychiatric history. They both then report back to the psychoanalyst Bowlby and then the team considered the participants' school reports as well as others and discussed their conclusions. Many of the children would then continue to meet the psychiatrist over a period of six months or more and the mothers talked over their problems with the social worker. Whilst also enabling the recording of a detailed case history, it allowed for Bowlby to diagnose the children's emotional problems. Firstly, to determine what may have caused the 44 thieves to turn to stealing, their personality types needed to be distinguished into groups. Bowlby did realise that this would be difficult to do with children because their whole personalities would not have fully formed yet, but he found that there were six main personality types in his sample. The table here shows how many kids had each character type and their degree of stealing. They include normal, who were children whose characters appear to be fairly normal and stable. Depressed, which were children who have been unstable and are now in a more or less depressed state of mind. Circular, including unstable children who show alternating depression and overactivity. Hypothymic, who were children who tend to be constantly overactive. Affectionless. These are children characterised by a lack of affection, warmth and feelings towards others. They lied, stole and had no sense of loyalty or friendship. And schizoid, who were children who show marked schizophrenic symptoms. After identifying the group of children who were classified affectionless, Bowlby found that out of all 44 thieves, 14 of them were classified affectionless. And of those 14 participants, 12 were found to have experienced frequent separation from their mothers. For example, Betty I was placed in a foster home at seven months old when her parents split up. She moved around to multiple foster homes and spent a year in a coffin school before she moved back home at age five. These kinds of separations were rare in the other personality types of the thieves. Out of the 33 non-affectionless thieves, only three had experienced separation from their mothers and only two participants of the entire control group had experienced prolonged separation. It was concluded that these children would not have become offenders if they had not experienced events that were harmful to their development.
the event in question being separated from their mothers. Bowlby subscribed to the psychoanalytic idea that early childhood experiences are of a crucial importance to a child's development, and he focused on the importance of the role that the relationship between mother and child plays in the later development of said child. He proposed that the damage to this relationship could affect the development of the superego, which is believed to reduce their sense of right and wrong. Socioeconomic factors such as poverty, bad housing and lack of recreational facilities may also be considerable factors, but the study places emphasis on the psychoanalytic factors such as early experiences. Uh, I hope that helped. Uh, this was the study carried out by Bowlby on 44 Thieves. Thank you. Bye.